Hello, I think this might be a useful video. Um, what I'm going to show you is how you can um, link icons and pictures in a Canvas page so that they open up in a new tab. Now I'll explain why that's you know kind of important or um, how it's useful. So if you have a look at this page here, um, I've got some instructions for the kids on what they need to do. I've uploaded a little video in there. And then um, there's a Google document in here, which I want them to complete some activities. So if everything's working correctly and looks really good, when they click on this, and I just want you to watch up here, I've got my Canvas tab open here. When I click on that, it opens up my Google document copy in another tab, which is really good because then if there's an activity in here in this Google document that they want to complete, um, they can just flick between the instructions and flick between the bits and pieces and then there's you know URLs that take them over to other websites and they can go back to their document. So that's why I want it to open up in a new tab. So if you set up in your canvas um, pictures and things like that and you link them to something it won't automatically open up in a new tab which can be a little bit frustrating. For example down here um, I want them to have a look at this Google Street View of Uluru. So looking up here again when I click it it doesn't open up in a new tab so it opens up my website I'm looking at really cool stuff at Uluru and I kind of get a bit lost in that website and then I remember I've got to go back and answer some questions in this Google Doc that Miss wanted me to complete but hang on I can't remember what I needed to do and I don't have my Canvas tab open anymore so I've got to go back into Canvas and I've got to navigate to back to that page which can be kind of a bit of a pain in the bum and confusing right so here's how you fix it we're going to load back into our Canvas tab um, and we're going to change a little bit of the coding. So just bear with me. It's not complicated. It might look complicated, but it really, really isn't. So what you need to do is open up your um, editing features. So you've got your rich text editor here. You want to open up the HTML editor. Now before you do that you want to find the URL that you're trying to um, manipulate if you like. So I want to manipulate this Google Street View. Um, if you're not sure what that URL is going to look like because you need to look through the code and find that URL, what you could do is you can right click on it, you can uh, copy the link address, just open up yourself a new tab, control V that into that tab and it'll give you what you'll be looking for. So if you have a look up here at the URL, that's where we want to take the kids. This is the URL up here. All right, so I'm just going to shut that down because we don't need that anymore. And um, we know that it's going to be near um, the writing that says where is Uluru and Katajuta. So opening up our HTML editor, you can see there's lots and lots of code in here. So we need to sift through it a bit. We're looking for google.com. So scrolling up here, we're looking for a URL, google.com. There it is there. So HTTPS, www.google.com sorry, google.com.au slash maps. And that's where it's going to take us on Google. So all the way down, all this URL, and that's where it finishes there where that speech mark is. So we don't need to put a space in. And what you want to write in there is T-A-R-G-E-T -E equals open speech marks underscore blank close speech marks and that should fix up our URL. We'll come back when we do the other ones, but let's see if this one's worked first. So let's save that. It takes us back to our rich text. This is what the kids will see. What we want to happen is when we click on this, it's going to open up in a new tab so that they can flick between that and um, Canvas. Let's try. Success. Okay, so now they have our um, uh, Katajuta National Park website and we also have our canvas so that's worked all right we can we've tested that so we can close that one down the next one we want to do is we want to um, link it to this website now the person who made this page hasn't told me what that one is so what you're going to need to do is copy that address so copy the link address 
copy it into a new tab, control V. This is the one that I'm looking for, airsrockresort.com.au. Okay, we can do that. So we go back into our text editor. We want to edit. We want to go into our HTML editor and we're looking for that um, URL. Where is it? Looking for a URL. Looking, looking, looking. There's a Google Maps. We know it's after that one. Ah, uh, there it is. HTTPS airsrockresort.com.au. La la la. There's the end of it there. So target equals whoops equals open speech marks underscore b l a n k close the speech marks let's save that now what we want to happen when we click click on our little book url here it's going to take us to a website we want it to open up a new tab and success we're good so i think that's a really handy tip um, especially if you're like me and you want to make your um, pages in Canvas look kind of like they're not boring and that we've got some nice um, icons and pictures and things for the kids to, to click on. I know that that makes me a little bit more interested in what I'm looking at. Okay, thank you. Bye.